If you've gotten a new iPad or have upgraded your existing iPad to the latest software version, you might be wondering how to make the most of the Apple tablet experience. Even if you generally know how to use your iPad or know how to use it for whatever reason you like to use it for, no judgment, I mostly use mine for watching Grey's Anatomy before bed. I will say that there are some specific features that you should be trying out or settings you should enable. Who knows, you might discover something that's actually really helpful for you. Now, there are some features that will vary based on the iPad model that you own. For example, the M1 or M2 tablets have the power for some functionality that other iPads lack. So let's dig into seven different things that you should be doing with your iPad. And of course, I'll note which iPads all the features do or don't work with. First things first, you'll want to make sure you've downloaded the latest iPad OS, which is currently iPad OS 16.1 but you should be checking if you have this installed because many of the best iPad features right now are thanks to this software. You can also turn on automatic software updates by going to settings, general software update, and turning on automatic software updates here. I even have a software update ready to install. One of the coolest iPad features right now is Stage Manager. Stage Manager works by bringing whatever you're working on into the center of your display by relegating your other open apps into a pile of tiles on the side of the screen. These tiles are relatively small but stay visible, which helps you stay focused on whatever you're working on while keeping an eye on everything else. The tiles in Stage Manager are even capable of live updates so you can see when something changes. To launch Stage Manager, swipe down from the top to bring down the control center and then select Stage Manager, which is this button right here. Unfortunately, this feature is limited to M1 and M2 powered iPads just because of the performance demand of multitasking. A good feature to enable on your iPad, just to see if you like it, is display scaling. Go to settings, display and brightness, scroll to the bottom to see display zoom, and then there's all these options for iPads in iOS 16, which is called more space. This feature improves resolution and similar to stage manager, helps with multitasking. As you might be able to tell, the icons and font size are made smaller, allowing for more information to be shown on the screen with display scaling. For those of you who video chat with your iPad, you're going to want to use the center stage feature. Center stage uses an iPad Pro's camera to digitally track a subject as they move in front of the camera. It will digitally pan and zoom so that the subject or you remains in the center of the frame as much as possible. This is great if you're going to be moving around or demoing something. A new iPad feature you should definitely check out if you haven't already is the new weather app available for iPad devices with iPad OS 16. This apparently was a wish list feature for many years, but it is finally here on the iPad and the app works a lot like it does on the iPhone. You can see weather reports for your area or different locations, as well as precipitation predictions, UV readings, the air quality index, and more. Of course, you can also use a weather widget now for seeing the reports at a glance. I'm gonna move on to more specific iPad Pro features just because it is the newest iPad at the time we're recording this video and really as far as testing and other experience is concerned, this is the most advanced iPad. There are two exclusive wallpapers for iPad Pro that are super moody and colorful, almost like neon vibes. I happen to think they're very high tech looking, so it's cool to know that they're hidden here in the wallpaper settings all the way to the bottom. Finally, the last iPad Pro specific feature that you should try out is the new Apple Pencil hover feature. The M2 iPad Pro can detect the Apple Pencil up to 12 millimeters above the display. This allows you to see a preview of your mark before you make it, which means you can draw or take notes with a bit more precision. It's not a major feature, but it's pretty cool to try out, especially when you use it to hover over apps without actually touching the display. These are just a few of the iPad features that we think you should try out, but we actually have a bunch more iPad tips and tricks on tomsguide.com. Sometimes we share some of the coolest ones on social, so you should follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Tom's Guide. Also, be sure you're subscribed to this channel and leave a comment with your favorite iPad tip. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.